Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Sunday to you. Guys, listen, if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter at crypto underscore siege. <clears throat> if you like the podcast thing, I'm on all the major podcasts, and that is the Crypto Siege on um, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes. And if you hang out on Facebook, you can follow me at the Crypto Seeds on Facebook as well. So happy Sunday to you. Hope you guys have a blessed day. The market is certainly doing what the market does. We're going to talk about that for a little bit. Shout out to James Rule XRP. We're going to go over a tweet that he, he shared with us this morning because I think it's really, really important to kind of understand the market, especially for the people that are new. I saw a tweet on Twitter this morning. Goodness gracious. 100x long on Bitcoin. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just not very smart. Unfortunate. I feel for the guy. Uh, yeah, just not very smart. So listen, guys, I'm going to go over some things here just to kind of, kind of, you know, uh, educate you a little bit on, on the reality of the market. Okay, so let's, uh, let's say this. This is your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. So shout out to James Rule XRP for point. I had a chance to uh, hang out with him for a little bit yesterday while I was uh while I was being interviewed on XRP Army News. That was pretty cool. That was a really, really cool hangout uh, for sure. And James Rule stopped in for a bit, but I believe he was having some technical difficulties. But here's a guy, James Rule XRP, who's always continue every single day to add value to the community. So we appreciate you, brother. We appreciate you big time. So listen to this. It says a massive bit Bitcoin flash crash just created one billion dollars of crypto chaos and i think it's important to know you know listen if you don't understand that margin trading like i'm talking 10 15 years understanding it you know doing anything beyond 3x is crazy 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 even the experienced ones only do like 20 so this guy did 100x, like, wow, that's crazy. So here's the reality of the situation. Let me share this. This is from an article on Forbes. Uh, a massive Bitcoin flash cash created a billion dollars in crypto chaos. The Bitcoin price is now, let me, let me go, let me go over the article here. Let's see, is it right here? Yep. And shout out to Billy Bramble. He's, uh, you know, he's getting a little better. <laughs> he's getting a little better. We all know that sometimes he kind of, he does, he misses the point. But he's getting a little better. This article says Bitcoin, after surging higher this week, has suffered a flash crash. Because I know when I went, before I went to bed last night, 1230, maybe, it, Bitcoin, BTC, Bitcoin was over 12,000. It was over 12. Wake up this morning, not so much, right? Bitcoin, after surging higher this week, has suffered a flash crash, losing around $1,500 from its price in a matter of minutes. Why do you think that is? Because the market is still being manipulated, right? It's still being manipulated. It can be ma manipulated easily, right? Until we get the, it, you know, until things are, you know, the real money comes in, right? Uh, that's what's going to happen. So have to be very, very careful. <laughs> so the Bitcoin price broke 12000 per Bitcoin on the Luxembourg-based Bitstamp exchange early Sunday morning, only to plummet 12% to $10,500 within an hour. 12% in an hour from over 12,000 to 10,500, which means a billion dollars in crypto losses. The Bitcoin price has now bounced back, somewhat pulling the wider cryptocurrency market with it to trade it around 11.3 but not before more than $1 billion of Bitcoin and crypto positions were liquidated across various exchanges. One billion. So you gotta understand guys, the, the real traders in the world, they know this game better than the, than the masses in the crypto space know how to play the game. Bottom line, BitMEX is a, a time bomb just waiting to explode. 
people are hanging out there thinking they can make some money, hang out with the big traders, then it's just not the case. A uh, billion dollars of crypto and uh, Bitcoin and crypto positions were liquidated across various exchanges. That is, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Here is something that I think that you should pay more attention to. Let me share this. This is from, um, uh, where did it go? Uh, coil, coil, there it is. And I think this is something that you, it, think about this for a second. And I think this is so apropos at this time. It really, really is. Shout out to Panos. I know I don't believe that I uh, familiar with him uh, uh, that much, uh, that familiar with what he's doing. But this is an interesting tweet. I believe XRP is the investing opportunity of the decade, of the decade. Not only because of money, but most importantly because of its technology. Thanks to Bitcoin that started this revolution. Amen. But XRP will continue it and do it better. That's what David Schwartz said uh, when he was being interviewed by Charlie Schramm. He said he did not believe, we did not believe that Bitcoin was the end of innovation. That was the challenge in the beginning with the BTC guys and a lot of BTC guys today. They thought that that technology was the end of technology innovation. And the David Schwartz and the people at Ripple said, no, 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 no. That is the beginning of some great technology, but it is not the end. So I went to go check out this dude's, uh, he wrote an article on Coil. So I'm going to give him a shout out, give him some love. I'm going to check this out on Coil. Let's go check it out. XRP, the opportunity of a decade. Opportunity of the decade. Interesting article. Let's go over this. So it says, as we all know, the last few years, the interest for cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology has skyrocketed. Many financial institutions and companies are investing in this technology, and the industry has already turned into a multi-billion dollar industry. Blockchain technology is probably the biggest and most revolutionary technological development since the internet itself. That is without question. Right? Individuals are also getting into cryptocurrencies for many reasons, to make money, for the technology, and as an alternative to fiat money in the banking system. Here, here. So here comes XRP, the most understood, the most misunderstood asset that most people do not understand, okay, or do not want to understand. Centralized and banker's coin are two of the most used phrases by the XRP critics and haters. But, it, but is this true? Absolutely not. In fact, if critics, haters, and especially Bitcoin maximalists sat down and did a good and extensive research, they would realize that nothing, that none of these is true. XRP not only isn't a banker's coin, Inside man, it's actually trying to go against the corrupted and broken financial and banking system. This is what I've been saying. <laughs> Ripple are leveraging XRP in a technology to solve a multi-trillion dollar problem because they are fed up with the broken and inefficient corresponding banking system, which is ruled by the big banks. Again, not all 10,000 banks, but the eight to 10 banks, right? The 9,990 banks want something different. So Ripple's vision and XRP's main use case is to upgrade the financial and banking system, make it more efficient and more transparent and make money move efficiently for the whole globe. So they are actually going against the big banks. I agree and the system that bitcoin maximalists hate so much it's very very true but ripple is doing that from within the system and so, sounds like this guy's been checking out some of my videos but ripple is doing that from within the system and working with regulators and educating them because that's the only way 
if BTC maximalists realized, if Bitcoin maximalists realized these things, became open-minded and saw things how they really are, they would actually jump from Bitcoin to XRP in the next minute. Bitcoin and its believers tried to do that by going against the system and promoting an anarchist ideology. He's talking about taking down the banks, so that's what they tried to do. Trying to block and exclude everything else around it. David Schwartz, in an interview with Charlie Schramm, pointed out this very fact. David Schwartz stated that, first he said, when we got started with the XRP, uh, XRPL ledger, we said everybody is going to use the XRP ledger for everything. And then he went on to say, that's exactly what BTC did, Bitcoin maximalists did. They said, everyone's going to use this technology for everything. But he was smart enough, and the people at Ripple were smart enough to realize that would not be the case. Right? They pivoted, right? You have to have a game plan to get to where you want to go. But understand, in that game plan, it's not going to be the game plan to get you to where you want to go. The first one will never be the right one. But you got to have a plan to get started. Ripple's plan with the ledger, when it first started, was everybody will use it for everything. <laughs> okay? The challenge is, is that BTC has not evolved from their plan of everyone will use this technology for everything. That's the challenge, right? So Bitcoin and its believers tried to do that by going against the system and promoting an anarchist ideology, trying to block and exclude everything else. But that, of course, didn't and cannot work. This can't be achieved with this way, and crypto can't just stay out of the system. Connecting crypto and blockchain with the system is inevitable, and it is already happening. We must just try to improve the system and make it work for the majority. Blockchain and crypto can do that. Ripple might be the main player in the XRP ecosystem, but it is one company focusing on one thing, cross-border payments. XRP is a universal digital asset that is used and will be used for multiple use cases and in multiple markets. The XRP ledger is being leveraged by an increasing number of independent companies and developers. The XRP ledger is an open source and decentralized technology that can do everything that Bitcoin believers wanted Bitcoin to do. How about that? But in a much better and efficient way and with much more features. With the XRP ledger, you can be your you can be your own bank today. Love that concept. And use all the amazing features of this technology, like escrow and checks, or using its built-in decentralized exchange. And more are coming in the near future, thanks to developers like Vitse Ven. Shout out to Vitse Ven. In order to succeed and survive in the long term, in this market, you need seven things. This is what Panos is saying here. Number one, a great and dedicated team, a great technology that is constantly improving, vision and strategy, great community and support, adoption, solving real problems, and having real utility that improves the lives of people. Ding, ding, ding. And number seven, connections. Hey, you gotta have a network. Right? Having big players, important people by your side, and good relationship with regulators and politicians. This is just how the world works. Who has all of these? You guessed it right. Only Ripple and XRP. In my opinion, you need all of these seven in order to succeed and survive in the long term. One, two, and five. One, two, or five of them are not enough. All seven are needed, according to Panos. How about that? This is why I'm investing in XRP, and I believe that it's the investing opportunity of the decade and maybe our lifetime. Not only because of money, but most importantly, because of its revolutionary technology. If another asset comes out with all of these seven, then I will be happy to invest in that too. And how blessed are we that we have that option? <laughs> we have the ability to do so. But there is no other to this date. I like Bitcoin for starting this revolution, but unfortunately, it has no place in the future. This technology is already outdated 
and very limited. Proof of work is simply not sustainable. And XRP's ledger's consensus protocol is the new standard, a much better and efficient system. So the end goal for most people is to make money from XRP, that's for sure. Some expect to be rich or financial independent, some just to make a good profit. But we must not forget that XRP is bigger than all that. It is bigger than speculation and money, 100%. It's about the internet of value. A new era, a, revelation, a revolution. We have invested early in a new revolutionary technology that changes the whole financial system and the whole concept of moving, of moving money and value. We will not benefit only from our investment, but the technology as a whole in many ways that it will change our lives. And this, in my opinion, is the most important thing. This technology and market is ex exists only about 10 years and Ripple and XRP about seven. Look back at your life in 2010. 10 years is, are nothing and Ripple and XRP didn't even exist back then. And look where we are now. Technology moves so fast. This is not about you and me getting rich. This is about changing the world, changing the status quo, changing how money moves, going against a broken correspondent banking system and more. If this technology succeeds, so will XRP investors. The future is digital and there is a new digital economy being built at the moment with new technologies. This decade will be crucial to finally see a better, more efficient and transparent system. And I believe that XRP and Ripple will be in the front line. And I agree with you, my friend. Great job. Absolutely excellent write up. Shout out to Panos on Twitter uh, for making this happen. If you're a core person, he is at Panos Mech. One word, P-A-N-O-S-M-E-K. Good job, my friend. Great job. In fact, I will follow you. Nice work, my friend. All right, guys, listen. Uh, let me see. What else did I want to cover? Did I want to cover that? This is the thing. Look, so we talked about an in, uh, uh, investment opportunity of the decade. We talked about what happened with BTC when you, you just, mm, you don't understand the market. You understand that you're small, small, small. These traders know what they're doing. They know this market. And yeah, there's a better way to do things. So let's share what it, what it might be. Shout out to Michael at Val Five Links for sharing this. Thank you, my friend. You're always adding value to the community. And I just want to let you know that we, the Crypto Seeds family, appreciate you, my friend. Since early July, XRP registered a growth of 78.63% since early July, showing one of the largest growths among the top 10 cryptocurrencies. This is on CryptoNews.net. XRP remains in positive territory despite moderated corrections in most altcoins. Okay, XRP continues to show its positive performance in recent weeks by remaining in positive territory despite a moderated correction in the market. Most cryptos in the space are registering corrections between two and 10% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, XRP is registering the largest growth among the top 25 virtual currencies. All right, guys, listen, I'm gonna wrap up this video like I do all of my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth <clears throat> in the history of man. <clears throat> are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.